Okay, Hunter. I'm Abe, and I got volunteered to show you the ropes. We're stuck in this metal box for about 30 seconds while the monster gets a head start. So, let's talk about monster hunting. The thing you gotta keep in mind is, this ain't about just running around and shooting bad guys like you're some kind of goddamn Navy SEAL or whatever. You were hunting a monster on an alien planet. That ain't like anything else. You already know how to use a gun and run around and how to face which direction and all that bullshit. You're not an idiot. We're gonna teach you monster hunting. It may seem... I mean, it's a lot to deal with, but after only like three or five matches, you'll get it. You see those glowing blue tracks in front of you? That means that asshole was just here. Keep on his trail, and hope he doesn't grow too much by the time we find him. All right, now just stick to those tracks. The other half of the team will catch the monster if it starts veering off in some crazy direction. If both halves work together, you'll corner the monster and one of you can land a dome, You're getting close. When you find him, though, he's gonna bolt. That's what the mobile arena's for. It traps a monster, forces a fight. It'll let you know when you're in range. Then, you just hold the button down and the monster is trapped in a giant dome with you and your team. Well, hopefully you got your team with you. Okay, here we go. You're right on top of him. But he's gonna try to bolt. When you see the prompt to throw the dome, let her rip. Now, throw the dome! You got him! Fuck yeah! Pro hunter! I knew you could do it. about reloading. There ain't no ammo to pick up or anything like that. It's the future. You don't need that shit. If you got some gear that takes a long time to reload or recharge or whatever, go ahead and stow it. It'll recharge in the background. The good news is you folks did a shitload of damage to the monster. The bad news is the dome is down and it can run away. Get some breaks. Okay, the dome is down, so the monster's gonna run, and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. I know, you're thinking, dome it again. Well, you can't. We got all kinds of science fiction shit, but it all runs on batteries, and batteries gotta recharge. Ain't no such thing as a free lunch. All we can do now is keep tabs on the monster till it's had a chance to charge back up again. Good thing is, it gives us time to hone those tracking skills and maybe learn something new. You can follow his tracks while the other half of your crew goes to cut him off. Or you can let your buddies follow the tracks and you can try to cut the monster off. Well, I teach you the advanced shit. All right, now just stick to those tracks. Hear that? That's the monster letting us know he's stage two. It means he's bigger and stronger. He likes roaring about it. Makes him feel threatening, trying to scare us. Let's find him before he hits stage three, because that is bad news. Whoa, okay, look, look, look. That is not a rock, that is a Mega Mouth. Looks like a rock is not. If you get close to that thing, it will straight up eat you and there is nothing you can do about it. it will just sit there until it swallows you. The best you can do is cry like a baby and hope a teammate comes and shoots the fucking thing. Which they will probably do. Unless they're laughing too hard. Okay, so you can't find the monster. Don't freak out. Get on the horn and tell your trapper to scan the area. That's something only trappers can do. Save you a bunch of time. You're gonna hear your teammates say, he's headed west. And you're like, what the fuck, which way is west? Well, you got a compass down there. Anytime you need to tell someone which way to go, just look at your compass. I know there's a lot of crap all over your screen. Okay, see that albino motherfucker over there? All the albinos give you a perk when you kill them. Perks make a huge difference, and when you see one of these albino assholes, you gotta kill them. 
Okay, now you gotta go up to the corpse and, like, loot its organs or whatever. Doesn't matter who killed it, everybody on the team can loot it. Also, FYI, the monster can get the perk too. I haven't seen tracks in a while. All we gotta do is find those footprints and you're good to go. Uh, okay, you know what? Forget about the tracks for now. I I'm gonna tag the monster with a dart for you. Speed this up a bit. You can get up that sheer cliff face or any wall by standing next to it and holding down your jetpack. But climb straight up, as long as you stick near the wall. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it gets the job done, so don't complain. Grounding these jetpacks wasn't easy. Anytime you want to point something out to your teammates, ping it. Yellow ping means just look over them. Here's your chance to shine. Dome that fucker. The dome only lasts until you guys or the monster take enough of a beating. Apparently, the damn thing doesn't know the difference between good guys and bad guys. You get close to the monster, you throw that thing out there, and it traps the monster in with you. The dome stays up until the monster downs a hunter. The machine does a ton of damage to the monster. Yeah, you probably recognize that guy. That's Griffin Halsey, a famous monster hunter. You gotta watch for when he fires his harpoon gun, because at that point, two things happen. One, the monster's stuck, can't run away. And he's probably gonna go straight for Griffin, so you gotta help him out. Like by killing the monster, preferably, but you do you, whatever you got. See that? Over there? The monster spooks some birds over there. That's bird sign. That means you know where the monster is. But you gotta move your ass. The monster ain't just gonna stand around like an asshole waiting for you. Okay, so the good news is, this is as strong as the monster gets. On the other hand, you're bone. Because a stage 3 monster is no joke, you gotta bust your ass to take one down. But, it also means the monster don't need to eat no more. He's coming for you. So stick together, and be ready. Looks like the batteries in the dome have recharged. Let's lock him down and dish out some punishment. See that? That's a crowbill sloth. I know it looks like a big dopey idiot, but if you mess with it, it will fuck your shit up. Just go around. Don't pick a fight with it. You got bigger fish to fry. The monster stage three, and that means he can ignore you and go for the Patterson relay. Every map has one, and if it shorts out, the whole place blows up. Check your HUD. You can see the relay. If you want to head over there, wait for the monster. You can. The Patterson relay has a shield. It'll power up as more hunters get near it. If the monster attacks it, get your ass over there. Dome him now! You see that look in his eyes? You let him go, he's definitely gonna go off and defile something. Okay, so you need to keep your teammates in line of sight so they can heal you and shit. If you stand too close to him, the monster will breathe fire on all of you or lightning strike the hell out of you. So, you know, stay close, but not too close. We'll get the hang of it. There it is again. Bird sign. Remember, pull up your mini-map, look and see where it is. Maybe it's far away, so you gotta head the monster off. You gotta think like the monster. Think about what it's gonna do. It probably knows it scared the bird, so it's gonna run. There ain't that many places to run.
jump, you get a quick jetpack dodge. Good for getting out of the way of rocks the Goliath's thrown at you. You dodge, you protect the way you're moving. You're standing still, you dodge straight up. God damn! Look at you, Stone Cold Monster Slaying Machine! Now, you may be new at this, but I think it goes without saying that if you manage to take down a Stage 3 Goliath, you've got a solid handle on things. <laughs> <laughs>